CET NCERT presents audiobook Introductory Microeconomics Page 67 Module 4.2 Monopoly Equilibrium Rationale The monopoly equilibrium uses the demand curve to depict the consumer's willingness to purchase goods and services at different prices key concepts monopoly equilibrium profit under monopoly loss under monopoly profit maximizing condition under monopoly 4.2.1 short run equilibrium of a monopoly firm so far we have done various revenue curves under monopoly competition and now we need to find out at what level of output the profit of a monopolist is maximized for this matter we require the cost conditions of the monopolist which are depicted by the cost curves which we had done in the previous modules we need to plot the mc and ac curves and ar and mr curves together the general condition for profit maximization irrespective of the type of the market is given by 1 MC is equal to MR. Two, MC curve must cut MR curve from below. The short run equilibrium situation of the monopolist therefore also occurs where MR is equal to MC, and MC curve cuts MR curve from below. From Figure four point seven, we can state that the equilibrium condition occurs at point E. At this point. Q is the level of output and the price charged by monopolist is rupees p per unit of output as indicated by point capital p on the y axis it is clear that price p is higher than the average cost incurred by the monopolist which is also indicated by point capital s in the figure so there is a net profit of rupees within brackets p minus s per unit of output total output is q and so the total profit of the monopolist firm is rupees within brackets p minus s multiplied by q figure 4.7 profit under monopoly here we have a graph with two axes the x axis represents quantity the y axis represents price there is a thick line here which originates from the y axis and ends at the x axis this line is downward sloping and is the ar curve there is also a thin line here it originates from the same point where ar originated from the y axis this line is downward sloping and intersects the x axis there is a u shaped curve here this curve is dashed and represents ac there is another u shaped curve here which is represented by a dotted line this is the mc curve now if we connect point p on the y axis to the point r on the ar curve we get a line pr which is parallel to the x axis similarly if we connect point s on the y axis to the point t on the ac curve we get a line st which is parallel to the x axis we can join the points r and t this will give us a rectangle pr ts this rectangle has been represented by a shaded region this shaded region represents profit under monopoly the short run equilibrium condition for the monopolist lies where mr is equal to mc and mc curve cuts mr curve from below as marked in figure 4.8 the equilibrium condition occurs at point e at this point q is the level of output and the price charged by monopolist is rupees 
P per unit of the output, as indicated by the point P on the y-axis. Page 68. It is clear that price P is lower than the average cost incurred by the monopolist, which is also indicated by point S in the figure. So, there is a net loss of rupees within brackets S minus P per unit of output. The total output is Q and so the total loss of the monopolist firm is rupees within brackets S minus P multiplied by Q. Figure 4.8 Loss under monopoly Here we have a graph. The x-axis represents quantity. The y-axis represents price. There is a thick line here originating from the y-axis and ending at x-axis. This line is downward sloping and represents the AR curve. There is another downward sloping line here. This line originates from the same point on the y-axis where the AR curve originated. This line intersects the x-axis and represents the MR curve. There is a U-shaped curve here represented by a dotted line. This is the MC curve. This MC curve intersects the MR curve at point E. There is another U-shaped curve here represented by a dashed line. This is the AC curve. Now, from the point S on the y-axis, we will draw a straight line parallel to the x-axis and connect it to the point R on the curve AC. Similarly, from the point P on the y-axis, we will draw a straight line parallel to the x-axis and connect it to the point T on the AR curve. We will also connect the points R and T. This will give us a rectangle SRTP. This rectangle has been represented with the help of a shaded region. This shaded region represents loss incurred under monopoly. 4.2.2 Difference between perfect competition and monopoly Monopoly and perfect competition are broad forms of market structure. Perfectly competitive firm does not have market power and thus it is a price taker. Monopoly has the market power since it is the only producer. So it is a price maker. In perfect competition, the firm faces a horizontal demand curve whereas monopoly faces a downward sloping demand curve. In perfect competition, supply curve tells how much a firm should produce at different market price. There is no supply curve for monopoly. In perfect competition, there is no major difference between the short run and the long run. In case of monopoly, there is an analytical difference between short run and long run conditions of a firm. In perfect competition, the price is equal to the marginal cost whereas in monopoly, the price exceeds the marginal cost. This also means that a monopolist charges too high a price for the product. Page 69 Test your understanding The price of a commodity and the total cost for a monopoly firm producing that commodity is given in the table here. Here, we have a table with 9 rows and 5 columns. The first column represents quantity. The second column represents price. The third column represents total cost. The fourth column represents marginal revenue. The fifth column represents marginal cost. Now, when quantity is 0, price is 52 and total cost is 10, you have to find out MR and MC. When quantity is 1, price is 44 and total cost is 60, you have to find out the MR and MC. When quantity is 2, price is 37, total cost is 90, you have to figure 
the marginal revenue and marginal cost. When quantity is 3, price is 31 and total cost is 100, you have to find out MR and MC. When quantity is 4, price is 26 and total cost is 102, you have to find out MR and MC. When quantity is 5, price is 22 and total cost is 105, you have to find out MR and MC. When quantity is 6, price is 19 and total cost is 109, you have to fill in the MR and MC. When quantity is 7, price is 16 and total cost is 115, you have to find out MR and MC. Lastly, when quantity is 8, price is 13 and total cost is 125, you have to find out marginal revenue and marginal cost. Based on the table, find the following. 1. The marginal revenue and marginal cost. 2. The quantities for which MR and MC are equal. 3. The equilibrium quantity and price of the commodity. 4. The TR, TC and profit in equilibrium. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India Music